What's up guys? Today I'm going to give you some exercises that you can do at home or at a gym to improve your skateboarding. So anything that has to do with balance is going to make you a better skateboarder. So if you're already going to do curls or something with weights or like some type of a shoulder press, why don't you do it while you're standing on a BOSU ball? So this is just just basically for balance and core exercises. You can buy this online somewhere like that. I like doing it upside down on this side. I think it's a little bit easier and a little more like skateboarding. You can do it with one foot. You can see my balance is not too good. <laughs> Just like a one footed squat. Normally I'd have something in the other hand too to balance myself out, but I've got the microphone. You can see I've got my gym fit on. Fit just means outfit. Uh, I don't quite have the jaw fit, the, the Nike swag going on. But yeah, I mean on this side, you could do it, but your feet would have to be closed together or you could do it with just one foot. It's gonna be a lot harder on this side with just one foot. You could just try to stand and just balance on one foot as long as possible. This is something you could do like in your living room, something like that, just while you're watching TV. The other day I asked my friend Thomas Alvarez from Revive Skateboards, what's a good exercise to make you a better skateboarder? He does a lot of workouts and stuff and he suggested that I do jump roping. So I'm gonna have to put the microphone down for this. So don't jump rope if you have wireless headphones in your pocket. So one thing that really affects your pop is your hip flexor, and you can feel it if you lift your leg and feel right there on your hip. So doing something like this could strengthen that hip flexor. You don't want to pull it because then the next day you're going to have a lot of trouble skating. care for ellipticals just because they're always so easy. They just feel like they're not doing anything. But running on a treadmill could help with skating because it's always good to be lightweight, really light on your feet. And uh, the more fat I have, the harder it is to skate, the harder it is on my joints. Now, I've got Americas on, and I don't know if Americas are the best running shoe. Maybe like some Vans. Uh, <laughs> ultra range or something might be better. Never take your beanie off because your hair's gonna look stupid and wear a sweatshirt and long pants when you work out because it's gonna make you sweat more. All right, so next I would say for skating, I'm using my quads a lot for jumping. This is just gonna help increase my pop and my calves too. So I've got pretty big calves, but you know, you can always improve them. I, I remember I skated with Chris Haslam one time and his legs were huge. So, all right, let's try this. So I could do something like this for my calves. Just do that for a while. It's only on 240, I could probably do you know, three or 400 on this. But just for demonstration, I'll do something kind of light. Yeah. And that's working my calves just to give me better pop. Maybe I should just use, just do my left foot since I'm uh, goofy footed. Just work that. Uh, but then my switch pop would suffer. So then I'm gonna move my feet up here. So I had to find a better angle for that. Wasn't really happy with that angle. So yeah, there's a squat. You just move your feet up, 
Move your feet back down, do your calves, and do your quads. Now you wanna be very careful on this machine. You don't wanna extend your knee past the point where it's straight, because then I've seen some really bad injuries where people totally tore their knees up on something like this. If I know I'm gonna skate the next day, I don't like to push myself too hard as far as running or just leg exercises, because it does really mess with me. The bottom of these reminds me of that blunt steel rail. I wanna buy one of those. I saw Dan Corrigan made a video about them the other day, but they're actually out of business. They're kind of like this, just a really heavy piece of steel, like a flat bar. You can do blunt slides and all kinds of grinds on, but they don't slide because they're just really heavy with rubber grips on there. So this gym, is actually going out of business. It was supposed to go out of business yesterday, but the card still worked, so I'm making this video. This thing would be cool to buy if they're selling everything in here, just because you could hold on to these and do some like skate tricks in the middle. So yeah, after you do all the cardio and all that balance training, you could work your arms out, just because like this kind of stuff burns calories a lot more than like the cardio stuff. This stuff really works you out. So work out those big muscle groups with stuff like this and you'll lose weight faster. I don't know what people were doing, just like one of these on here. Um, people change these things around every single day. That's just like a bicep curl when we've got all of these to curl. So one thing I never do, but people have suggested it in the comments, is uh, use like a foam roller or a yoga pad and stretch. I don't actually stretch. I know the stretches that I should be doing, but I don't do them. So yeah, I mean, just normal leg stretches after you skate or at night, just to keep you young. So yeah, work those big muscle groups like your chest and your back and your legs, and you're gonna lose weight faster than if you just did cardio. So the reason I wear really thin pants like this when I skate instead of thicker jeans or work pants is because I tend to pull and strain that hip flexor when I'm trying to do flip tricks in like thicker pants. So yeah, stretch, stretching out your legs. Uh, right now I'm stretching out my hamstrings. Now, I'm not a fitness expert, so you can see that I don't stretch. I can't even touch my toe. Let me see about the other side. Oh, you know what? This side I can touch my toe. So yeah, stretching out. I don't stretch before I skate because I feel like I'd have more of a chance of hurting myself if I'm too loose. Uh, I know I could be sitting on one of those yoga mats, but I didn't want to take the time to unroll it and roll it back up. It seems like a lot of work. So it's good to go to a gym because you have all the different sizes of weights. So you can slowly work your way up. And then when you get tired on this one, you move down this way until you get tired on all of them, until you can't even lift this five pound weight. So if I'm alone like this, I would rather do that machine I showed earlier than this one. And I'd rather do this as far as the bench press instead of something like this. Because if you don't have somebody to spot you and you put this bar down on your neck and you're alone like this, it's, it's not gonna be good. Also, if I, if I uh, accidentally overextend my legs and the, all those weights come down on me on this, uh, by myself, it's not gonna be good. One thing I do sometimes before I skate, but people have suggested I stop doing this, uh, is stretch out my calf, because I do feel some tightness. So the muscle right in front of my shin bone gets kind of tight, and sometimes it makes it hard for me to push on my skateboard, so I stretch it out sometimes before I skate. I've been suggested not to do this, because people say it could make it where I would sprain my ankle easier but I still enjoy doing it, it feels good. So if you don't have a gym membership, you can actually use your skateboard as a tool to exercise. One night I thought it was locked in here, but I didn't know you had to push this button to leave. I'm gonna miss this gym. They got some money in the refrigerator, they got showers. So the ladies have to social distance here, but the guys don't. But the guys also have some serious water damage to deal with back in business and better. It is with much regret that we have to inform you that Fitness Firm will be closing effective 11 5 21. Thank you for supporting a small business and working out local. 
I mean, I wouldn't want to work out somewhere far away from where I live. So yeah, I'm actually going to try to exercise now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, it's usually skateboarding videos, not really stuff in the gym, but I do tutorials, reviews, and just videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, scroll through my channel, check out some of my other videos, and hit that subscribe button because I've got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching. Thank you.